For those of you who already know how to do a simple three-point lighting setup, there are lots of other different and interesting ways to light a scene. Here are some useful lighting techniques as well as other creative ways to do lighting. Every lighting technique has been made to convey a mood, and every type of lighting has a place and a purpose. Low-key lighting is useful for creating harsh shadows, giving a feeling of uneasiness or darkness to a scene. This type of lighting is often employed in noir films, like Maltese Falcon, Sin City, and Drive. The opposite of low-key lighting would be high-key lighting. This refers to even lighting, no harsh shadows marring the subject or the shot. High-key lighting is used for very surreal shots, or nice evenly lit days. A great example would be the use of high-key lighting in the film Hero. Reverse key lighting is probably one of the most well-used lighting effects in movies, used for dramatic scenes. Reverse key lighting refers to taking the key light, and instead of shining it directly onto the subject, have it off to the side, slightly obscuring their face in shadow. It gives a much more dramatic look and accentuates the subject's facial features. Now, if you want good dramatic light, but you only have a key light, you can use a light reflector to bounce light back onto your subject. Reflectors are extremely useful tools. Reflectors are often used as fill lights, filling in the shadows from a harsh key light. Now here are some creative and interesting lighting effects and some techniques that can help you out on a set. Firelight is a tricky thing to simulate, and there are multiple ways, but the cheapest and simplest is to take your light, preferably a relatively small one, like an onboard camera LED, put an orange filter on it, and then use your hands to simulate fire movement. If you have, say, a campfire and you need a little bit of extra light to bounce off your subject, this is a good way to fill it in. Simulating water is hard. No joke. Making a contraption to simulate water is tricky. The easiest way is to find an actual body of water that you intend to use and shine a light on it. Then place it at the proper angle you need to get a reflection to bounce off it. We tried really hard to get this to work using a water cooler and to no avail. Neon lighting is interesting. It can be used to give a very striking image, or simply used because the shot has neon in it. You would use a three-point lighting setup like normal, except place gels over the lights to turn them red, blue, or any other color that the scene requires. Then use what you know of other lighting techniques to make your shot look cool. The importance of lighting cannot be overlooked. Not only is it essential to give you a cool looking shot, but it also creates a mood and atmosphere in the scene. Dark alleys, brightly lit sunny days, harsh neon, or some crazy combination of the above. They all serve a purpose. You should always light your scenes with an intended look that creates the mood you want. Now go out there and be creative.